initial switch configuration the way Cisco wants it. Right, Cisco for the CCENT exam topics give us a list of configurations for a switch. So initial configuration, these are hostname, management IP address, IP default gateway, local user and password, enable secret password, console and PTY login, exec timeout, service password encryption and copy run start. This is just going to be a quick flyby, check out the website for the full write up. Okay, so we're going to jump straight in with hostname. So we're going to type enable, then configure terminal, then we're going to simply type hostname and whatever you want to call the switch. So in this one, we're going to call it switch one. Now you'll see that it's changed to switch one there on the left. Next is management IP address. So this is the address for like the IP address for the switch. If we want to remote into it or send any commands or send anyone that way. This is the address that we're going to use. So we type interface VLAN 1, then IP address, and then we give it the IP address and then the subnet mask. going to set the default gateway. Uh, the default gateway is the switch is way off the network or the subnet. So we're going to exit out of VLAN 1 and we're going to type IP default gateway. And for this we're going to just give it an IP address of 192.168.5.254. Usually that would be the IP address off the router. local user and password so we're going to create a user for the switch so we type username then the name of the user so we're going to do user1 password then we'll set the password so we'll type Cisco enable secret password so this is just creating a more secure password so we type enable secret and then the password we want to set Cisco for this. This will protect the enable exec mode. So when you go to log in, it will ask you for the password. Console and VTY logins. So first we'll set the console login. So the way we do that is we type find console zero. That takes us into the console file. And we'll type password. We'll set a password, so we'll do Cisco again. Then we have to click, we have to type login to prompt us for the password when we log into the console. Now we'll set the same for the VTY logins, which is the remote logins. So we'll exit out of line console and we'll type line VTY 015 and we'll do it again, we'll go password. Cisco and then we'll type login which will tell it to prompt us for the password when remoting in. Let me just show you the local login. So if instead of typing login like we did earlier, we type login local, it will prompt us for the user details that we did earlier. So let's come right out of this and go back in. And you, as you can see, it's prompting us for the username and the password. Now is exec timeout, which is the amount of time it will keep you idle on the switch before it kicks you out. So we do this in the VTY line type exec timeout minutes and seconds if you type 
zero, zero, it will just turn this off completely. Service password encryption. So other than the secret password, um, all of the switch's passwords will be in plain text in the running config. So we type this just to encrypt all of that. Service password encryption. And that's it. If I go into the running config, you'll see that all the passwords, which would normally be in plain text, but since running the service password encryption is now encrypted. Here. Right, so if I was to turn this switch off now, turn it back on, everything we've just done would be lost. So we need to save the configuration to what's called the startup configuration. So what we do is we type copy, running config, startup. That's it for the Switch initial configuration. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.